annual man trip 2023 uh, Sam is back with us this year which is awesome because um, we really missed him last year and dad is actually with us too because this year it's a little less strenuous a little more laid back a little more relaxing um, usually we like to struggle on the man trip but this year it's still remote and we still have a lot of fishing but this year it's a little bit less of a struggle we will be on Matt's big boat here on the often unforgotten Great Lake. Well, not really a Great Lake, but it's a really big lake. So we need a big boat for the big lake, hoping for big fish. And that big lake is Lake Nipigon. So this is our first international trip. We are up in Canada. This is the biggest lake in Ontario. Uh, it's like, it's technically not a Great Lake because it's still a quarter of the size of the smallest Great Lake. Now this is actually the Onaman River behind me. Uh, Lake Nipigon is way farther that way um, because we are staying at Onaman River Resort right here on the Onaman River. Uh, it's one of the only ways you can get back to this lake. Really hoping uh, low fishing pressure and big water is going to make for some really big fish this trip. So those are starting to bite me. That's why I'm kind of like... Now on Lake Nipigon this year, we are still competing for the Man Trip Championship Trophy. Um, now with that trophy, when you get breaking rights, two, you get your plaque on there with the fish, the lake you caught it, how big it was, all that stuff. And you get to choose the destination for the next year. So that's kind of what we're fighting for here. We're fighting for the biggest fish. So each day I'll give you updates on who the leader is. Yeah, this should be a fun trip. Let me get out of the way because someone's coming to access, so. Whoa! Let's actually do this. Border was super easy. It only took like four minutes. Now we stopped at the Canadian gas station and went in Rome, right? Also, I had to. It might not be open. It's that gross. <laughs> Probably some of the best poutine I've ever had in my entire life. Highly recommend the Dirty. If you're ever in Beardmore, Canada. Place is incredible. Day one man trip 2023 in Lake Nipigon. Um, we woke up this morning at three o'clock uh, and then we crossed the Canadian border. Uh, we went through pretty quickly. We crossed at like 5.45, so we went through pretty fast. There was no one <laughs> else in line, so we were we got through pretty quick. Um, got groceries in Nipigon. Then we had the best poutine of our lives in Beardmore. There was this food truck. One of the best poutine ever. It was it was so dang good. Um, so if you ever come up here, please, please, please stop at that um, food truck. It's super cool. Then we got to our cabin here in Onamia River Resort. 
and then just kind of brought our stuff in and then got in the boat and got out on the water as quick as we could. And uh, Sam is now the leader. He is the only one who caught a fish today with a 33 inch northern. So um, decent start to the week. Um, we're hoping to get much bigger fish though here throughout the next few days. So, or the next week, because we have all of next week. Um, so, yeah, that's it for day one in Nipigon. Nick, stop the GoPros. I did. You did, good. Oh, there he goes. Scoop John, keep it in the water. Cool, I felt it yet. Yeah. Coming. <laughs> Alright, get Max. Oh, 
36. 36. Oh, you were in the lead. There you go. I don't think we'll like that. Sam, get a picture. I did. I knew I had it. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, bones down the middle, you gotta like, so you like water, it turns into like, so you find them and then you like cut along them. You do that first? Uh, after. After? Yeah. All right, day two, Man Trip 2023 in uh, Lake Nipigon. Um, Dad now has the lead with a 30, what is it again, 36? There it is. I always forget. Again, football brain. <laughs> Dad now has the lead with a 36 inch lake trout. Uh, we got some incredible walleye this morning and then kind of transitioned to fishing lake trout the rest of the day um, and caught some really big hog lake trout. Um, apparently, they get even bigger. Um, like we're, we caught that 36 today. Uh, Matt caught a 35. Nick, Sam, and I all got pretty big lake trout as well too. So um, it was a pretty dang good day out on Lake Nipigon. Matt just got some information from guys that have been coming here for 10 years. So hopefully we get some uh, really big fish and a lot of walleye tomorrow. Um, so uh, yeah, should be a good day tomorrow. That's all I got. Whoa! Man trip tradition. 
the fish stew. <laughs> We traveled 45 miles from the Onaman River Resort this morning just to get all the way up here. Oh, I got it! <laughs> I got it before the hook came out. That was the keeper. So now yeah, it's, I think it's a keeper. Too small. Yeah. Like from the side. Of the I got it in the corner of the mouth. Got it. shots. Alright, day three in Man Trip 2023. Nick is the new leader with a 39 inch lake trout. We actually doubled it up so we got two of those. We traveled quite a long distance today. I think we traveled over like 100 miles on the boat so that was a lot. But, um, 
getting eaten alive right now out of here, so I'm just, I'm gonna make this quick. We caught a ton of walleye this morning in Little Jackfish River, uh, and then just kind of trolled our way back to Humboldt Bay and to Onaman River. Um, caught some decent lakers on the way back, but it was kind of, not a lot happened during the middle of the day. Um, this morning was incredible though. That was a really cool river. Um, that train going over the river was really cool too. Uh, tomorrow I think we're going for brook trout. That's kind of the, the, the goal. And hopefully figure out the northern bite because I think there's there's going to be things over 40 inches here in this, in this lake. Hopefully over 50 even. So that's the plan for tomorrow. That's all I got. See you. Come on, buddy. Heck yeah. Nice. Gotta be under 27 or over 36. Ah, got it. Nice. Good northern. I'll take it. Okay, buddy. Ah, you're going back in the water. Oh, you bad plastic cap. That's a solid one. Huh? Solid! Stop this looper. Big old mother. 34. Nice. Good job, Matt. As it came out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no. Cool. You got it, Dad?
Put a lot of gas in the boat. All right. Day four, man trip 2023 in Lake Nipigon. This morning we went out to Murchison Island, got a couple hog northern in um, Weber Bay, and we got another lead change. So Sam regained the lead with a 40 inch northern, an absolute hog. So that was super cool. I'm hoping uh, everyone gets a 40 inch fish by the end of the trip. And then we tried to fish brook trout around that, around Murchison Island, and we, we might have been fishing it wrong, so hopefully we can catch some brook trout here in the future. On our way back to Humboldt Bay, uh, we fished some lake trout, fished Humboldt Bay for walleye, where I <laughs> thought it was calm enough to fly my drone, but I got it up in the air wind picked up and I almost lost it and then we actually got pushed into a sandbar and Matt's big motor wouldn't start because we were sitting in the sandbar so we had a little bit of a scare there <laughs> we thought the motor wouldn't start but then we figured out later that the sandbar was the problem so um, but we got it going everything was fine so I think that's all I got from uh, day four It is a cool place. Come right. on, freaking focus. Alright, well, I love you. Take care of yourself.
Day five, man trip 2023 in Lake Nipigon. Supposed to thunder and lightning this morning, so we figured we shouldn't be out on the water. Um, so Matt, Dad, and I, we all went and got some fuel so we could fill up some gas tanks so we could um, kind of explore a little bit more and not be so restricted just by fuel um, for the next two, three days. We saw a wolf on the way out there, which was super cool. I was scrambling to get my lens on my camera and didn't get much footage. That was a little bit of a disappointment, but we got out on the water around noon and it was glass calm. Like it was one of the nicest days out on the water. We went south to the hog trough. We got some decent uh, lake trout, uh, nothing too crazy. And then fish northern, trolled northern along the western side of that bay coming back, coming back to Humboldt Bay. Didn't catch anything crazy so we didn't get any lead changes today it's a gorgeous night glass calm day no wind it was beautiful out so it's a great day out on lake nip again anyway see you tomorrow
啦。Good. Six Man Trip 2023 in Lake Nipigon. The plan was to fish some brook trout today because uh, this is one of the few places we could catch some really nice ones. But the wind had other plans. Um, so as we started to make our way over to the islands that the brook trout live around um, and swim around, the waves got really bad. So we kind of turned around and went back to Humboldt Bay and fished around there for a decent amount of time. Slayed some walleye the rest of the day. Also caught some really nice, nice northern. Speaking of which, we have a lead change. Matt actually caught a 42 inch northern monster fish. And heck, if anyone deserves it, it's him. <laughs> He's working his butt off this trip. Just had a huge walleye fish fry tonight. Cooked all those up. We got one more day tomorrow. Um, thinking we might go back up to Jackfish River or Little Jackfish River and kind of make our way back again. That fishing was incredible. Um, brook trout seems like it's a little late for brook trout. Probably not going to be able to get those this trip. But tomorrow we're going to slice a few more walleyes in Jackfish River. And uh, the next day we will head back to Minnesota. So one more day out on the lake. So boy. <clears throat> There it is. 
immediate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got him. Let's go. Appreciate your concern for my lighting. Appreciate that. There we go. <laughs> okay, day seven, man trip 2023 in Lake Nipigon. Um, today, well, I guess technically we're doing the daily submarine and we're doing the man trip reflection because today is our last day here in Lake Nipigon. Tomorrow we are heading back to Duluth. Um, this morning we started in, um, we went, made the re really long trek way north up to Little Jackfish River. Um, that walleye hole was just, uh, we couldn't help ourselves. We had to go back up there. Um, so we're pretty glad we went back and got fuel on Wednesday. Um, we went up there, uh, just slayed walleye up there all morning. Then um, kind of came back down and started fishing some northern on the way back. Um, went into Weber and made a trek out to Weber Bay to hopefully get a few more shots at some really big northern. Um, didn't really get many. Well, actually, Sam caught a really big northern, a 35-inch. That was really nice. And then uh, started fishing lake trout on the way back. Uh, Matt got a pretty good one there. We didn't have any lead changes. So to review all of the leaders throughout this entire trip, Sam started it off with a 33-inch northern. Then it was Dad? Me. It was Matt next, thank you. It was Matt next with a 35-inch lake trout. And then Dad with a 36-inch lake trout. And then Nick with a 39-inch lake trout. And then doubled that up with another 39-inch lake trout. And then it was Sam with a 40-inch northern. And then finally Matt with his 42-inch northern. Which claims him to be this year's man trip champion. So congrats, Matt, on being the champion. Yeah. Now, I will say this too, like he, the amount of work Matt put into this this uh, uh, trip, uh, managing lines, doing all of that stuff. Like we just kind of, the us, the rest of us, the four rest of us just kind of got to sit back and let him do all of it. So he won the championship, but like won one and a half championships because he earned, he worked so hard for this one. So, um, yeah. So anyway, congrats, Matt, on your championship. Now, man, or the man trip reflection, uh, per tradition, uh, it is always the high and the low point of the trip and then two things you're looking forward to about regular life back home. So we always go oldest to youngest. So dad is actually the first to go. So the floor is yours, dad. So first of all, mom and I are blessed with four great kids and Matt, Sam, Nick, and John. We love you with all our hearts and we're very proud of you and your families and significant others. Highlight for me would be just being with Matt, Sam, Nick, and John and catching a lot of fish. 
The low point would be uh, forgetting to bring a fan because the cabins when we got back at the end of the day were always quite hot. <laughs> I would also like to echo uh, Matt. You are the greatest fisherman of all time, the real goat. Uh, it's stellar. The real goat. Uh, we sit out there and watch you do all the downriggers and the planer boards. Uh, planer boards. I mean, it's it's impressive. So uh, thank you. It was a great trip. I appreciate being here. So proud of our children. Uh, you are all a credit to yourselves, your families, and uh, to mom and me. You're the greatest treasures we have. So thanks, Matt, Sam, Nick, and John. And then two things you're looking two forward things to. Two things I'm looking forward to. Uh, looking forward to seeing mom. I miss her. She's my best friend. And looking forward to spending more time with our grandkids. In uh, Ashley, Mary, Summer, and Everett. Great kids. Cool. All right. Thanks, Dad. All right. You are up next, champion Matt. Right. High and low, and two things you're looking forward to. The high point of the trip was catching a hog northern 42 inch trout on planer boards, along with the numerous large lake trout and catching walleye about every cast at the Little Jackfish River. The low point was when we thought we had mechanical boat problems, but it turns out we were just in really shallow water because we had to go rescue John's <laughs> drone. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, there, there was about a minute there where I was like, oh crap, we're. 20 miles away from the place, there's no cell service, we're going to spend the night out here, but we got that problem fixed. Okay. Turned out we were just in too shallow of water to put the boat in a drive. Okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> Two things I'm looking forward to are going back to see Sarah and Mary and having uh, a nice bed to sleep in. The, the beds here are okay, but I'm looking forward to a regular mattress again. All right, thanks, Matt. All right, Samuel, you are up. Uh, I'll start with the low point and in the hide. Um, I, I would say probably a low point was not getting to keep uh, the walleye due to limitations, but <laughs> did <laughs> yeah. do get to do get trying to, to stay <laughs> trying to stay do, legal out here. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. But uh, do get to keep um, quite a few fish, and we we're going back with a lot of fish, and got to eat a lot of fish. So it's you know that's that's okay. Uh, just catching them is fun too but um looking forward to seeing uh jojo ashley and summer again and um uh i would say um i just get getting back into the normal flow of you know life and everything Routine. like that so yeah, yeah it'll be good for sure all right thanks sam and nick all right, high points would be catching my uh, three biggest fish. So biggest walleye at 25 from the cities, biggest northern at almost 39, and then biggest lake trout at 39. And my low point would be John and I graciously volunteered to be the dead weight in front of the boat so that <laughs> the boat would plane out when we're going fast. And a few mornings ago, there were one to three foot rollers, and I was in the front of the boat, broadside to the waves, going across the whole <laughs> Lake Nipigon. So after I was bouncing around for however many waves, we finally stop. And I won't tell you what I said, but <laughs> I'm sorry I swore. And then I'm looking forward to um, seeing Saskia Everett, our two dogs, Remy and Nala. I'm the jerk that left his wife home with a three-month-old. So <laughs> coming back to make up for it. Taking care of him next. And <laughs> I'm uh, looking forward to um, feeling horrible again. <laughs> Same routine, not fighting the sun and working inside again. Yeah, taking care of Everett <laughs> and not sleeping at night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Nick. All right, now, okay, so the high point for me was probably netting Matt's huge 42-inch uh, northern. That was pretty sweet. Um, it always feels good to be a part of the championship tri or the championship uh, fish. If you're not taking it in yourself, at least have some sort of part in it is always fun. Um, the low point, actually, um, and this is a heck of a low point, is... <clears throat> 
because usually we just drink straight instant coffee on these man trips and um it's okay it gets the job done it gets the caffeine in the system at all it's all usually good but i i brought an aero press with but i didn't bring enough filters so like it ended up we ended up having to drink instant coffee but the possibility of staying in a cabin and being having all these niceties being able to have nice coffee with that would have been pretty nice too but um but two things I'm looking forward to about regular life is definitely getting back to see Jada and Mads. And then also, uh, for sure, more, um, oh, what was my other one? I had one other one. I think, yeah, it was definitely, my, my second one is getting back to a regular mattress for sure. I would definitely echo what Matt said. The, the beds are good, but they get, again, they get the job done, but like, it's a regular mattress. Home always is good. It's good to get back into that like home routine. Um, now, because Matt is the champion, he uh, gets to decide what we're doing next year. Um, we'll see what that ends up being, um, but he will decide that for next year. But that is it from us from Lake Nipigan Man Trip 2023. We'll see you next year on whatever Matt decides we go on, whatever adventure Matt decides we go on. There we go. <laughs> All right, that's it. Ready? Yes, I'm going. Dang. Got it. Yes. Can't let your